Until 1836, Texas was part of what country? If you can answer this and a bunch of other questions, maybe you've got what it takes to... And here's your host, the man who takes the fifth whenever it suits him, Rob Edward Morris! Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Maria. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Make the Grade, the game show where three kids compete against each other for cash and prizes by answering lots of questions from our board. But before we take a look at our board and the subjects that we're going to be dealing with today, Let's meet our players for today. Hi, players. Hi, Rob. Hi. Hi. We have some eighth graders with us today, and in the red square is Mike. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hey. You're a baseball fan, huh? Yeah. Uh, do you play? Do you play on a team? Uh, yeah, the Orioles. Yeah? What, uh, is it Little League or our, our school it, team? It's Little League. What position do you play? Outfield. Outfield? All three of them? No, I play... Different parts. Oh, really? What about, uh, uh, would you like to do this as a, you know, profession? Or do you want to play pro ball someday? Or? Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, why not? What, what team do you have in mind? A's. The A's? Or anyone, right? <laughs> well, good luck to you, and thanks for being with us. Next, we have Donna in the green square. <laughs> Donna, you're a musician? Yes. What instrument do you play? I play the flute. How long have you been playing the flute? Three years. What about the piccolo? Do you play the piccolo too? I can play it, but I don't play it as an instrument. Oh yeah, you just, you just mainly play the flute, huh? Mm -hmm. But now, even though you're a musician, you don't want to do this as a career, you have something else in mind. Yes. What else, what else do you want to do? Oh, uh, I think I'd like to be an aeronautical engineer and oh, work really? with space. Wow, where'd you ever get that notion from? It's just something I've wanted to do. Yeah? Well, good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks for being with us. Last and certainly not least, we have Ben in the blue square. Hi, Ben. Hi. You play in a band with Donna, don't you? Yes. <laughs> what instrument do you play? I play um, tuba. Oh, yeah? How long have you been playing the tuba? For two and a half years. Do you play any other instruments? I can play trumpet, but I don't play in the band. You know. I play oh, yeah. just tuba. Band. Tuba's your favorite, huh? My tuba. It is your favorite, huh? Yes. Do you think you'd like to pursue this as a career? Or? No, um, I think I'm just going, uh, going to the um, career of medicine. Into medicine? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, good luck to you, and thanks for being with us. Good luck to all of you. Let's talk about how the game is played. As you can see, our board has seven subjects and seven grade levels. Now, our subjects for today will be home economics, English, history, science, geography, current events, and up in the air is going to be our elective for today, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. In order to win the game, you must answer at least one question in each subject and one in each grade level. Now, you can do that in any pattern that you desire, whether it be diagonally, randomly, or straight across and up and down. If you're the first one to do that, then you win $500 and go on to the honors round where we have a chance at another $600 and a great grand prize. But first, before we get there, I want to warn you guys, behind some of those question squares, we've hidden some wild cards and some of those include the famous make the grade fire drill which as you probably know could change the course of a game at a moment's notice so just a little precautionary measure there nothing to be afraid of in the meantime mike you've won the right to go first so pick a square and get us started on make the grade i'll take current events i'll take current events in 12th grade current events 12th grade it's going to kick it off good luck to all of you federal income taxes are due on what day of the year Anyone? Was that after the buzzer? Okay, that was a little late there, Donna. April 15th is what we're looking for. In 1990, though, is, that's due on April 16th. Okay. Uh, go ahead, uh, Mike, you're still in control? Uh, I'll take English for elementary. English, elementary. How many letters are in the English alphabet? Okay, Donna? 26. 26 is correct. Okay. Okay, Donna, you're in a roll. Go ahead. Go ahead, pick another one. I'll take history for 10th grade, please. History, 10th grade. The U.S. Navy was started during what war? Okay, go ahead, Ben. World War II. That's incorrect. Uh, okay, Donna? The Revolutionary War. 
The Revolutionary War, that's correct. Okay, go ahead, Donna. I'll take home economics for eighth grade, please. Home economics, eighth grade. Chocolate is derived from which source? Trees, coffee beans, or cacao? Go ahead, Ben. Coffee beans. That is incorrect. Okay, go ahead, Mike. What is a cacao plant? What am I that is correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do I look like Alex Trebek here? <laughs> no, he's a nice guy. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Mike. I'll take up for seventh grade. Up, seventh grade. That's our special elective for today. Things, questions and answers in this category pertain to things that are up in the air. A frame covered by cloth, plastic, or paper attached to a string and designed... Okay, go ahead, Donna. A balloon. That is incorrect. I'll read the rest of the question for Mike and Ben. A frame covered by cloth, plastic, or paper attached to a string and designed to fly... In a... Okay, go ahead, uh, What is Mike. a kite? A kite, yes. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, go ahead, Mike. I'll take uh, geography for ninth grade. Geography ninth. And that's a fire drill. Okay, come on down, kids. This fire drill is called Tricky Try Shoot Toss. Throw the balls into the giant bowl so they fall into your chute. The fire drill for round one is going to be tricky tri tube toss. You guys go over to your colors, and I'll tell you how it's done. As you can see, each one of you has a basket filled with a miniature make the great basketballs. Okay? The game is played by bouncing the ball towards the, the bowl and getting it into the bowl. Now, as you can see here, we have uh, some miniature planets in orbit, in a circular orbit. And this bowl has a hole, has holes for each one of these tubes. And the first one to get the balls into the tubes and filled to this line will be the winner. And the other two must compete for second and third place. There you go, Mike. Got it? You guys ready out there? Yeah! Okay, when we're done, we're going to go take a look at the board and decide what color you want to return to. But that's for the first place winner. On your mark, get set, go! Okay, we're looking for the first one to fill the tube to the line. It looks like we have one in red and one in green. Two in green now, and we all have some in the tubes. One more is going to do it for Donna. Oh, and we have a winner. Keep going for second. Looking for second place. Donna, come here, Donna. Second place is what we're looking for. Donna. Second place is what we're looking for. Keep bouncing, guys. The next one, oh, okay. It looks like one more is going to do it for Mike. Go on, keep bouncing, Ben. Keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. And that's going to do it for Mike. Okay. Come on over here, Ben. Mike, Donna. Donna, you were first. Donna, how tall are you? My seven and a half. <laughs> My goodness, you're pretty tall. Okay, what color would you like to return to? I'll go back to green. Okay, go back to green. Come here, uh, Mike, you were next. What color would you like to go to? Uh, red. Okay, go back to red. And Ben, you're going to? Blue. Blue. Okay, talk to us, Maria. Tricky try to toss was tossed by Donna, who goes back to green. Mike goes back to red, and Ben goes back to blue. Okay, Donna won that fire drill. She went back to the green square. She's in the lead. She's going to pick a, pick a square and get it started again. I'll take geography for 11th grade, please. Geography, 11th grade. New Zealand is an island country located 1,000 miles southeast off what continent? Okay, Mike. Australia. Australia is correct. Okay. Mike, you're in control now. Excuse me? Go ahead and pick a square. Oh. I'll take science for seventh grade. Science, seventh grade, first one in this category. What animal is known for its white stripe and foul smelling defense mechanism? Okay, Donna. The skunk. The skunk, yes. Go ahead, Donna. That's our buzzer. We'll be right back with more of Make the Grade in round two after these messages. <laughs> 